take a look at other uh, dermatologic disorders that are important for you. Melasma. As soon as you hear about melasma, the clinical problem that you're thinking about is a pregnant lady in which upon her face, there might be uh, hyperpigmentation. Why? Well, really, not entirely understood. But so far, what we do know is overproduction of melanin. So I just said that it is a pregnant lady, most likely, and uh, postpartum. There is a hyperpigmentation that might be taking place in some exposed areas, involvement of hormonal stimuli, perhaps. Usually associated with pregnancy, but in general, take a look at your uh, conditions or predisposing issues. We have pregnancy, oral contraceptive pills, or hormone replacement therapy. The common denominator in those three situations would be estrogen exposure. Exacerbated greatly by sun exposure, so therefore your management would be for this patient or to recommend that the patient stay out of UV rays. And when exposed to UV rays, uh, make sure that the uh, patient has appropriate protection in terms of uh, maybe hats, visors, or maybe even uh, sunblock. The demographics, more common in persons of color, especially Hispanics. Lightly brown, homogeneous macule. What does that mean to you? Unable to feel it upon palpation because it's not, to, not an elevation. It's just a macule, a light brown. No elevated component, so there is no scaling that is involved. Melasma. Here's a picture of uh, a patient, a Hispanic lady, postpartum, and the area that you're looking for on the cheek here would be areas that are hyperpigmented. You'll notice that it is not erythema. Is that clear? Management discontinuous of provoking agents such as or contraceptive pill or the associative source of estrogen, if identified. Strict photo protection, as I was mentioning earlier. And bleaching cream, such as uh, hydroquinone, for cosmetic purposes. <laughs>